I want to talk to you today about bale shape and bale appearance. As you can see here with this bale, obviously we have a lot of issues. Net spread is not correct. We need this net to get out to the edge of the bale and lay over the edge. If we grab a hold of the net wrap itself, it's loose. We really want that net to snap back and, and, and be tight. Obviously our bale shape here is a little uh, off as well. Uh, so there's some things that we can do with your windrow adjustment and some of those things to help avoid these kinds of issues. So some of the keys to making a good shaped bale is the windrow width. It all starts with the rake. So if you have a five foot baler, five foot wide baler, you need a five foot windrow or at a minimum four and a half. Four foot chamber, you need a four foot windrow or a minimum of three and a half. So a good square box shaped windrow will always help you make a nice square shaped bale. So the second thing we want to look at is we need good tight net wrap on the bale. You should be able to grab a hold of the net wrap. It should snap back knowing that it's good and tight. If you have loose net on the bale, then there's some adjustments we need to make to the net wrap attachment. So I'm gonna show you how to properly adjust the net tension on your 605 in baler. The spring actually adjusts the tension of the brake wheel. So if you're gonna use a good quality net wrap, we suggest that you move the spring to the upper hole, allowing for maximum tension on the net wrap. Higher quality net wrap allows you to, to increase the tension. Lower quality net wrap is going to force you to use less tension. So how do we adjust the tension? You, you release the jam nut on the spring, and then you will grab a hold of the T-handle and turn it clockwise to increase the tension. Only go two turns at a time, allowing for gradual increase of your net wrap until you achieve uh, the tension that you're after. So a quick way to know if your net wrap is properly adjusted is to look over the feed pan and see if the net is tight on the feed pan. And if you want to see a few breaks or windows to open up into the net wrap, and then you'll know it is properly tensioned. So if you receive a net feeding error while bailing, it could mean that your net is tensioned too tight. So you would come back here, loosen the jam nut, and rotate the T-handle counterclockwise to loosen the tension on the net. Go ahead and make another bale. If the net goes ahead and feeds, continue to bale. So located on the left-hand side of the baler is the density adjustment. So if you need to make your bale tighter or more dense, you can increase the density by loosening the jam nut and turning clockwise the screw in to increase your, your density. There's a, on, located on the front part of the baler is a visual gauge, green, yellow, and red. I look at it like a stoplight. Green is go, yellow is caution, red is, is stop. So in the upper part of the green, lower part of the yellow is okay to run your density once your baler is properly broken in. Those are a few adjustments you can make to your baler to improve your bale shape and bale appearance. Always refer to your operator's manual for further adjustments.